Dunkirk, Force Awakens, the first season of True Detective, actual motion picture film. I highly recommend this film. I'm getting ahead of myself. So let's backtrack. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome to Shutterstock Tutorials. I'm Logan. Today we're gonna to talk about film stock. Well, a specific kind of film stock. We're gonna talk about Cinestill, and then we're gonna go out and shoot some. Well, we actually already shot some, and then it got developed and now we're here. And now I have a mustache. I'm sorry. So before we actually talk about the Cinestill, uh, we need to talk about film stocks because film stocks are very different. They're much like cameras and lenses in that they bring very different characteristics to the table. So some film stocks are better for portraits because of how they handle skin tones, specifically like the Portra lineup. Um, and then you have film stocks like Ilford who are all black and white and they have different levels of contrast, grain, but they're all very different. And today we're gonna to talk about one of the coolest film stocks on the market right now. Here's why this film is so cool, because it's actually motion picture film. Now, on Cinestill's website, they say it's not repackaged motion picture film, uh, but it is modified motion picture film. So the same kind of film stock that you see on your favorite movies, uh, Dunkirk, Force Awakens, uh, Quentin Tarantino uses this, uh, the first season of True Detective. So what does all this mean? Well, Cinestill took the Kodak Vision 3 500T 5219 film stock that actually came out around 2012, I believe, and they modified it so that you could shoot it in a stills camera. Now, what does it mean to say that they modified it? Well, they took that film and they removed the rimjet layer off of it. And what that rimjet layer does is protect the back of the film from halation. Halation is when light hits the film base and it reflects creating a glow back on the image. So when you have the anti-halation layer on there, you don't get those glowy orbs around the light. So because that layer on the bottom is gone, you now have this totally different film stock that reacts to light in a new way, but it's still balanced for tungsten light. In order to develop this film in the C41 processing chemical bath that you use to develop color film, um, they had to remove that. If they didn't, then the chemicals in the C41 would actually kind of pull that off of the film and it would contaminate the rest of the chemicals. So even though the original film stock was 500T, meaning it was rated at a 500 ISO, they want you to push it to 800 because they want you to shoot it in darker settings because of how the light reacts without that anti-halation layer. But Cinestill has actually said that this 800T is designed for low light tungsten balance situations. And they actually have a list on their website that suggest locations and different setups to use uh, when you're shooting with this. One of the problems that we actually ran into with this film or with making this video is that we live in a really boring small town uh, and all the videos that I saw people were shooting in like Bangkok, Hong Kong, New York, which all really looks amazing, when, especially when you're shooting with Cinestill. Uh, so we were kind of stressed because we were like, how do we make this, these photos look good? How do we max out the capabilities of this film stock? So uh, there are a few different places that I think everyone should have around you in your town that I would recommend going to to try out this film. Look for gas stations, look for bars, look for billboards, and then look for movie theaters and businesses. Basically anything with light. Regardless of how boring it looks, the film stock will make it look that much cooler. Now there are other Cinestill film stocks offered. There's the 50D, which is balanced for daylight. Uh, I shot a whole roll of that on 35 in another video that you can watch 
right here. And there's also a black and white Cinestill that I actually don't know much about. Let me, it is called Cinestill BWXX. Cool, so if you wanna see us shoot with that, let us know in the comments. So for the last few shots of the night, we tried to take a couple of long exposures because we had never really seen any long exposures with the Cinestill 800T. But yeah, let us know what you think of the photos. Uh, we're gonna be posting all of these on Instagram. So if you wanna follow us, there you go. You can follow us if you would like. Um, Todd actually just got back from Spain, I think. Uh, but he shot like four rolls over there. So he should be posting some of those in the meantime. Should be pretty cool. If you wanna see us review another type of film, uh, let us know in the comments because we do read the comments. Um, and yeah, I, I do want to make a video with the Mamiya RZ, um, whether it be a camera review or just like a, a portrait video or something. Uh, but if you want to see that, comment below. All right, I'm going to get out of here. I'll see you in the next one.